Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I'm doing a 2020 bullet journal setup and plan with me for beginners. So if you think I'm anything like Amanda Rachel, I'm not. Not me. I still draw stick people. It's my own bullet journal, so if you want to make one, you can get as creative with it as you want or not as creative with it. I'm so excited to show you guys. Here is... Oh, I'm sorry. Here's my bullet journal. It's kind of plain. The thing is, I kind of already started, but I'm only 25% of the way done, so I'm still going to go over how I did what I've already done. I didn't think about how many people would want to see a video like this. Your request has been answered. I'm here doing a bullet journal video. I hope you guys enjoy and uh, let's get started. So these are the tools that I use for the bullet journal itself. The bullet journal is actually from Target. It was around $20 and pretty much the only supplies that I really use are washi tape and pens. Those are my main supplies. As you can see, it's pretty plain, so if you have any suggestions on how I should decorate it, let me know. I'm going to show you the pages that I've already completed. So I have a vision board, some of my favorite quotes and Bible verses, a kind of dream outline who is Ava type of thing, my habits and routines, a goals list, and also an area to put all of my bucket list items. My vision board just has some pictures and quotes that make me really happy, just something that inspires me. And then I also have some quotes and Bible verses. Obviously, you can customize this to whatever you want. These two pages I got really inspired from Olivia DeAndra. She made a really awesome bullet journal video, so I took a lot of inspiration from that one. Why is someone jackhammering outside? Oh my gosh. Anyways, these are the pages that I'm working on right now. So for my habits page, I put some of my current habits that I wanted to break. And the only way to do this properly is to make sure you have a replacement habit. So I made sure I made replacement habits for all of my bad habits that I wanted to stop. For example, one of the bad habits that I have is checking my phone first thing in the morning. So as a replacement habit, I put that I can journal, drink water, or do some light reading instead. I'm not a really artsy person. If you want to get more creative with it, by all means do so. But I'm kind of outlining my ideal morning and night routine that I can roughly follow. I really like how my goals pages turned out. So all I did was use some washi tape, some gold stars that I got from Target. The pink paper is just colored note cards. I'm writing some of my short-term and long-term goals. So short-term could be a goal for the day, a week, a month, or a year. And long-term is year plus. So anything longer than a year, it could be life goals. I really had no structure when writing these out. They're kind of just scattered along the page. I can always add to it. So I'm just using a pink marker to do so. And then it kind of just looked all jumbled together. So what I did was take this highlighter. Highlighters. Whoa, that was a really pretty shot. I took a pink highlighter type thing and just added things around. See, Literally, my idea of decoration is adding a cloud around stuff. So you can do whatever you want, but this is what I did. I think it looks cute. For beginner, some of my long-term goals was graduate from college, things like that that are going to take a while to achieve. Ooh, and one that I wanted to point out was that hopefully, not hopefully, I will one day in the future learn to speak Spanish fluently. That's such a big goal of mine. To organize it a little bit more, I'm doing the same thing that I did on the short-term page, just adding a bunch of unnecessary squiggles. These are what the pages turned out like. I really like it and I can always add to it later on. Moving on to my bucket list spread. So I have a bucket list for 2020 and then I'm also on the other side gonna create a bucket list for my life. All I did to make this cool outline was get some gold washi tape. So I'm just writing down some categories like personal, travel, YouTube, things like that. I outlined them to make it a little more structured and then I used a yellow pen to write all my goals. You can't really see it that well on camera. Also, I know that I have a bigger bucket list somewhere. I just don't know where I put it. So these are kind of things that I wrote down on the top of my head. But honestly, you could always add to this later on or just create the spread and always fill it in as you go along. I'm doing the same thing on the other side, just creating different categories and then I'm filling it in and I actually misplaced one of the things and I didn't want to start all over. So I just put arrows to switch them around. I actually really, really like this spread. This is what it looks like when it was completed and they might be a little overrated, but I think it's super cool to look back at. So do as you please. Moving on. This is my thank you 19 page. I just took four of my favorite Polaroids, used double sided tape to tape them down and wrote the things that I'm grateful for with a gold Sharpie on them, that 2019 blessed me with if that made sense. You could make this a whole spread but I just stuck this to one page and then I realized that the sharpie was going to smudge so I just used some tape to put it over and make sure that it didn't transfer. On the next page I'm writing hello 2020 and I feel like if I was a professional bullet journaler this would have been a really cool page making it all intricate and stuff but that's just that's not me. I'm sorry. I tried. Actually I didn't really try but I just didn't want to mess it up. After this page things progressively just get worse so usually 
A normal person when creating a bullet journal would use a ruler, but I'm just roughly sketching some very not the straightest lines to make an overview of the 2020 calendar. I'm outlining it with a metallic sharpie, and if you get triggered by unstraight lines, I would just stop watching right now because it's just about to get really, really bad. I really should have used a ruler, and also my hands were getting really sweaty, so of course, naturally, I just smudged the whole thing. Oh, that line was so bad! I'm so sorry, I wish I could recreate this page, but no regrets, right? <laughs> I finished it up off camera and this is what the overview calendar looked like and I just marked the holidays I knew off the top of my head. On the next page, I'm putting some little strips of washi tape that matches the color on the left page and then I'm writing Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, all the quarters of the year and what I'm gonna do as the year goes on is just mark down my goals and then eventually I'll write down if I achieve them or not, just quarterly goals to keep me on track. And get you a girl who learned from her mistakes because this time I used a ruler and I don't regret it. It looks really good. <laughs> I was gonna take this decorative tape that I got from a Japanese store, but it didn't end up working for some reason. So I just covered it up with some pink metallic washi tape. And I want this spread to be all about personal growth and goals and stuff. So on this page, I'm writing self-care. I feel like a cute bullet journaler would add something better than just outlines of hearts, but that's all that I got. So take me as I am. <laughs> I'm writing a reminder that self-care is not selfish. I think that's something that every Everyone needs to be reminded of and then I'm just writing down some things that I could do for myself that don't necessarily take a lot of time that are just good for my mental health my physical health just all around to make it more organized I'm just adding the squigglies everywhere you guys know the drill I really like how this page turned out I think it's something I can always look back at if I'm in a weird mood or I'm just feeling down self-care is so important and I talk about it a lot so I really like this page on the other side of this red I'm taking this purple washi tape and I'm writing workout I also tried oh my gosh look at my hands I also tried drawing that little dumbbell as you can see next to the word workout which just does not look like one but it's fine I'm writing down my three methods of workout that I like the most so the gym cycling and yoga I'm drawing a big cloud around it because that's all I know how to do Oh, and also these metallic markers came in a huge pack from Office Max. Basically for each of these little bubbles, I'm writing down my goals. I didn't add much yet. As you can see, there's kind of a lot of leftover space, but I'll figure out what to do with that later. This whole spread, I just want to inspire me when I look at it, remind myself why I'm doing what I'm doing. Now looking back at the footage, I think eventually I'm going to write down what I like from each workout, if that makes sense. So what it does for me, like for cycling, it increases my stamina. It makes me feel really confident because it's always important to do things with a purpose. One of my goals that I wrote for yoga was to successfully chaturanga and I definitely spelt that so wrong. Um. <laughs> Uh, what can I say? So this is a little life hack for you guys that I kind of figured out because a lot of the times my pens show through on the next page and I don't really like how that looks. So I'll just take some double-sided tape and then smooth it down the next page so that it just forms one page and then you can't see through the other side. This page I'm going to have what am I drawing? Oh, I'm drawing a YouTube symbol. That's what I'm doing. Oh my gosh, this time lapse is so satisfying. Basically, I'm drawing the little YouTube play button because this is going to be my YouTube video list ideas. I'm writing down the different categories that I'm going to film videos for, and then eventually I'll fill them in with my video ideas. This is where it starts getting bad, so you can literally see my hesitation before I write this, but I'm writing January diagonally, which just looked so awful, and I ended up not even... I end up ripping it out basically and you'll see why. I was going to make a calendar but I literally did all the work of penciling out. The lines were not straight even though I used a ruler so overall it was just a mess. And yes, even though I did map it out with pencil, somehow I ended up with six days of the week and I didn't even notice this until I started writing the days of the week. So while I was doing this whole thing, I didn't even notice it yet. Yep. So that's me for ya. This page is a little nicer than it was before. So basically I'm just writing month one and then I'm writing January. Literally nothing too intricate. Literally anyone can do this. Why am I saying literally so much? Oh my gosh. I'm drawing these growing flowers because I want this year to be all about growth. So I'm drawing these little flowers. That's the best I could do. There's a lot of empty space. So I'm writing, what am I writing? The beginning of growth. Oh, cute. Okay, I like that. If you have any ideas of more pages that I should add, definitely let me know because I'm always looking for more inspiration. And surprise, I ended up changing my mind. This was a few days later. I was just so tired filming all of this and just messing up. I was really frustrated. So I ended up doing this a couple days later. Basically, I made a January calendar spread. Not to plan out my life or anything. This is mainly going to be my YouTube calendar. So I think it'll keep me really on track with vlogs, sponsorship videos, and main channel videos. So that's the purpose of this. 
If you want to do something similar, if you don't do YouTube, you could always do this type of calendar for school or your work. That was it for my bullet journal. Basically, I don't do any of the normal calendar stuff. And if you're wondering where I do all that, I do have two other planners. So they're both from Erin Condren. This is the academic planner. It's so cute. I love having separate planners for this stuff because my bullet journal is mainly just to inspire me. As I said, this is the academic planner. So it's super good since I am doing online college. It keeps me really organized. And then for my day-to-day -day planner, it's also an Erin Condren and it's just so beautiful. I love it so much. Didn't want to use my bullet journal to plan out my life. I just didn't want that. So there you have it. That is it for this bullet journaling video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I'm definitely not the best. The lines, mostly not straight. Mm. Bullet journaling is not totally my thing, but I really like doing it. I don't really use it for planning out my day-to-day -day things. I don't really like the whole mood tracker thing, so I'm not gonna do it. You can literally do whatever you want. For me, I'm a nostalgic freaking person. So for me, my bullet journal is kind of a time capsule piece, if that makes sense. I have actual planners that I like to plan out my daily stuff in, but for a Brit, for my bullet journal, I just want it to inspire me. And when I look at mine, I feel inspired and I feel good. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit different for my channel, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you stayed to this point in the video, make sure you comment down below chips because I'm really hungry. I'm gonna go eat right now. Um, yeah. Bye now. Well, now I gotta pick up everything I swept off my desk.